Ah, young love, where hearts flutter, butterflies dance, and boyfriends sweat bullets at the mere thought of meeting the parents. Yes, that pivotal moment when nerves turn a grown man into a jittery mess. But before the fateful encounter, there's a crucial scene. The girlfriend's attempt to soothe her boyfriend's frazzled nerves. Picture this, Sarah, radiant with anticipation, pacing in her room like a general preparing for battle. Meanwhile, on the other end of the line, poor David is probably pacing too, looking like a headless chicken, his nerves jangling like a tambourine in an earthquake. I can't wait for you to meet my parents. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. Oh, don't be nervous. It'll be a blast. Just wear a tux, flash that killer smile, and treat me like the queen I am. Plus, my dad's a total teddy bear once you get to know him. Oh, and speaking of getting to know each other, if all goes well, we could, you know, have a little post-dinner rendezvous. Uh, yeah. Sounds like a plan? I'll just swing by the pharmacy really quick. Gotta stock up on, uh, supplies. The next day, David walked to the pharmacy, nervous about how to ask and what to do since tonight is gonna be the first night in his life of doing anything with a girl that is this big, so he has got to be prepared. He stepped into the pharmacy and met with a pharmacist named Mr. Johnson, but with an uncertainty of how to ask and for what. What is wrong, son? Sir, I need, um, condoms, please. No problem. You look a little uncertain, so I will help you with that. Okay, thank you. It is my first time, and that is why I want everything to be perfect and I want to be certain to make sure we will do it more. Then one time tonight, maybe I will just get lucky. No problem. Here is a test to measure your size, and then we can pick which pack you want. The small, medium, or family pack. The pharmacist, bless his heart, embarked on a mission to equip David with everything he needed for a legendary night. But when David confidently grabbed the family pack of condoms, even the pharmacist's eyebrows did a little dance of surprise. Hey, gotta admire the guy's confidence, right? So, that night, David strutted home like he owned the place, visions of his impending romantic conquest dancing in his head. Dressed to the nines in his best tux, he was ready to charm the socks off Sarah's parents, and maybe a little more. As he approached Sarah's house, he couldn't help but think, well, at least I've got something exciting to look forward to after this nerve-wracking meet-the-parents ordeal, right? It is nice meeting you, Mrs. Johnson. Now I know where Sarah got her beautiful figures from. Thank you, David. That is so good to hear. You are such a charmer. Reminds me a lot of Sarah's father. But come in and meet him. He is sitting right at the table. David walked in knowing that he nailed it when he met the mother. Now just for the father but he knows that he can nail it, right? So, he walked up to the dinner table with Mr. Johnson and Sarah leading him. Dad, meet David, my boyfriend. Sarah said that with such big confidence in her voice, Mr. Johnson stood up and greeted David with a stern look on his face. David looked scared when he saw the father knowing that this man will give him all hell with his daughter. Nice meeting you, David. Shall we sit and do a prayer for dinner? I think we can just cut right to the dinner. No need for small talk. David sitting across from Sarah at the dinner table was so nervous, he just wanted a train to run over him at that moment because he knows with that look on the father's face is enough to make the best bone crusher flinch. But that is okay. He needed to be like this to show any man to not mess with his daughter. I will pray for the lovely food if that is all right. No problem. You could pray for us. That is so decent of you, David. So David started praying and praying after a while, 10 minutes passed, but no David keep on praying and another 10 minutes passed. David prays as if this will be his last time on earth. So Sarah nudged him. David, I had no idea you were so religious. You never told me that your father works at my local pharmacy. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.